Howdy. The purpose of today's video is to talk to you about the material properties of cerium stabilized monolithic zirconia for use in internal combustion engines. There are four main qualities that we want this material to have for our purpose. These are increased temperature stability, fracture toughness, and corrosion resistance with a decreased thermal conductivity. The corrosion resistance has been experimentally determined to be true as opposed to pure zirconia material, whereas the decreased th thermal conductivity is caused by increased phonon scattering at grain boundaries. This will lead to less waste heat to the atmosphere, which will add to the efficiency of the engine. Behind me is the phase diagram and lattice transitions for serious stabilized zirconia. In a system of pure zirconia, as you increase temperature, you reach the tetragonal phase region. In this region, there's a volume change, as noted here, between the change between the tetragonal and cubic regions. As you move to the cubic region, the shrinkage would form cracks. This is a problem when operating at higher temperatures. In order to counteract this, we would increase the concentration of ceria in the system. This allows us to move through a mostly cubic system and end up in a cubic region at higher operating temperatures without having to worry about the volume change of the tetragonal region. Cereal zirconia is most often produced using the sole gel technique or solution gelation. In this technique, the desired amounts of ceria and zirconia are both combined together in a water solution with a pH that is low enough such that it does not facilitate precipitation. So after you mix the two together, it's this step on the process flow diagram, and you let that lay idle for a little bit, and then you transfer it over to a mold where it gels. And this facilitates cross-linking between the ceria and zirconia. And then after this step, you're going to evaporate off all the water so that you get this structure right here. And then once heat is applied, the structure condenses further and it forms a very dense and hard ceramic. 